of course, was Endeavour IMG. Uh, they're going through a, a little bit of a takeover from Silver Lakes, the private equity company, and therefore they've had a sort of root and branch look at their businesses. And um, what seemingly has come out of that, Paul, is that Miami and Madrid may well be up for sale. Yep, we're hearing lots of rumors in Madrid has uh, recently sold already. Now it's on the blocks again in Miami um, in their relatively new venue. So uh, I, for one, hope that... Uh, if indeed uh, IMG Endeavor needs to get rid of it, that uh, that the new owners keep it in relatively similar uh, geographic locations in the states. <laughs> in the states, oh, somewhere. Mr. Anico, oh, in the nice. states, get yourself nice. into the UN. In, I, I in the like states, I, no, I think it makes sense to be in the states the week after Indian Wells, and I think Madrid should be in Europe somewhere on the clay as well. I, I'd like to see that. I hope they don't go to other places. I mean, we've spoken about it so much about the scheduling and how much uh, the players are complaining about it and being vocal about it. And if you watch a Miami or a Madrid start ending up somewhere that doesn't make sense as far as uniformity of moving around the tour and the globe as we do, that's going to be a big issue. So hopefully IMG can figure something out and, and whoever ends up owning these events, if they do sell, can at least have some wherewithal to make some players a little bit happy because the tours certainly aren't. Yeah, it's big money. It's, uh, Madrid sold for 380 US million dollars when Tyriac sold it. And of course, Cincinnati most recently sold for around 300 million. This